An experimental treatment for multiple sclerosis is showing promise in stopping symptoms of the disease. A new study finds a single stem cell transplant could stop or delay symptoms better than some medications. Just over 75% of patients who took drugs over a five-year period saw their disease get worse. Less than 10% who had a transplant saw their condition worsen. Well, our Dr. Tara Narula is here with how the procedure could be life-changing for some of the 2.3 million people who have been affected by the chronic condition worldwide. Tara, this is good news. Good morning. Very good news. Good morning, Nora. We met two women who struggled for years with relapsing remitting MS, but current drug treatments are expensive, require use for many years, and can have serious side effects. So the women decided to volunteer for a small clinical trial to test a risky stem cell transplant procedure that appears to be paying off. What? Do you want to go for a run too? Amanda Loy never imagined she'd be battling the Alaska elements on her runs instead of battling her disease. Amanda was diagnosed with relapsing remitting MS, the form that comes and goes in sporadic episodes, bringing her life to a sudden halt. Both of my arms went numb and I wasn't really able to use them well. Every month she underwent a drug infusion and took half a dozen other medications. But her symptoms just got worse. And I started having bladder problems and my balance was really bad, requiring the cane more often. MS is an autoimmune disease where the body attacks itself and damages myelin, the protective covering surrounding nerve cells. With that insulation compromised, the nerves deteriorate and can cause a wide range of symptoms, including vision problems, fatigue, and weakness. So Amanda traveled almost 3,000 miles to Chicago to participate in a trial with the hope of stopping the disease in its tracks. Transplant ended up being markedly superior in all the parameters we looked at. Dr. Richard Burt led the international trial at Northwestern School of Medicine. You have to select the right group of patients. There's these really aggressive ones where, that are very relapsing and inflammatory uh, that it works extremely well in. Here's how it works. A patient's own stem cells are collected and stored. During a two-week stay in the hospital, high-dose chemo is given to wipe out the immune system. Then the stem cells are infused back into the patient to reboot the body's immune system. I knew that I couldn't just keep going the way that, that I was going. I love love. Trudy Manderfield was just 23 when she received her diagnosis. She had trouble walking and temporarily went blind in one eye. In 2013, with an infant daughter, she was ready to try the new treatment. Were you scared? Very. More excited, though, than scared. There's a lot of um, potential side effects. Any procedure will have a side effect of death. As a new mom, I'm going, okay, well, <laughs> that would be bad. But um, I knew that... I had to give it a shot. Trudy is doing well, but she still has occasional symptoms and is off MS medications. Amanda is also off MS medications. She plans to head back to Chicago, not for treatment, but to run the city's marathon in October. Oh, the transplant might not be a permanent fix. There are serious risks like infertility, infection, and even death. Wow, but still promising for some. So who could benefit from this type of trial? So this is still experimental. And according to Dr. Burt, about 75% of those who have MS have the relapsing remitting type. But of those 75%, 15% have the type that would be eligible for this type of treatment. It's a more aggressive form. But I think the important thing to convey is people wonder, why would you put yourself through something yeah. that's so risky? And it's not just the disease, which in and of itself is difficult to manage all of these yeah. symptoms, but it is the fear of not knowing, am I going to wake up tomorrow? Tomorrow, not yes. able to see, not able to feel my leg. And that fear is just, it's disabling for mm -hmm. a lot of people. And they don't want to deal with that for the rest of their life. How, much, mm -hmm. how much does this transplant cost? So it's about $125,000. But, you is know, it they, covered by insurance? In this case, these patients had it covered by insurance. So, yes, in some cases. But yeah. when you look at the cost of drug therapy, it's about $60,000 to $80,000 a year, plus the cost of appointments mm -hmm. and your trips to the infusion. So it may actually be mm -hmm. beneficial, you know, when you compare and mm -hmm. look at the cost benefit ratio. Thank we will you. be cheering her on. Yes. yes. Marathon in October. Great Such story. Such amazing women. Yes, Tara, thank you.